In today's video, I'm going to be taking my super fast gaming PC that I got completely ripped off by off eBay in my last video. I'm going to be trying to run Minecraft on this and we're going to be running some various FPS boosting settings and optimizations and trying to get Minecraft actually playable on this system. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Let me know if this helps you guys all out there with bad PCs. Because I could do this video on my main computer, but it makes zero difference. So in this video, you guys will be able to see what I do and the results that it gives me. But first things first, we're going to go ahead and put an SSD into our computer. Over 90% of you guys said on my community tab post that I should put one in there. So yeah, let's switch over to my phone, put an SSD in here, reinstall Windows. And yeah, we're going to set it all up, run a couple of settings and uh, let's see how this performs. All right, so a lot of you guys suggested that I put an SSD in this computer. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So I've got myself a crucial two and a half inch solid state drive here. We're going to put that in here, replace the failing hard drive. And hopefully this is a lot quicker than the hard drive. So let's just quickly go ahead and do that. Right, we're at the back of the PC. This is our hard drive here. Let's just disconnect that. I'm sure you guys know how to install an SSD into your computer. Oh, look at that. That's damaged. Just slide this drive out. Boom, here we go. So we've got a Seagate, uh, 500 gigabyte. I've always had bad experiences with Seagate drives. I know a lot of people say like the, the best, the most reliable and stuff, but every single failing hard drive I've ever had has been a Seagate. So yeah, let's just get rid of that, put the new one in, and hopefully we get a nice speedy PC. And another thing I've noticed is the, um, the front panel USB 3 port isn't even plugged in. So yeah, I don't think the motherboard has a USB 3 header. So they just got that just uh, chilling here. Right, the SSD is in there. I couldn't be bothered to put it in properly. So it's just gonna kind of like be a bit lopsided there. But yeah, let's get the side back on. All right guys, so I've just put the SSD in the computer and booted off my special Windows 10 LTSC USB drive. Now, if you don't know what Windows 10 LTSC is, it's basically a special version of Windows that doesn't have any kind of bloatware or any pre-installed apps on it. It only kind of has the essential stuff, like all the stuff you really need. It's actually a really good version of Windows. I actually kind of swear by it. I use this on my main system. And although I don't need it, I don't really like having pre-installed Candy Crush and all that other crap on my computer. So yeah, it's a pretty good version of Windows. I'd highly recommend checking it out. The only disadvantage is it's based off a very old version of Windows 10. So you won't get like all the latest Windows features, but you get security updates and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're willing to make that trade off, it's actually a pretty good version of Windows. Let's get this Windows installation running and uh, I'll see you when we set it up. All right, so we're in the setup process here. A lot of people in the comments have been telling me to install Linux on this computer. And it's probably something that I'm going to do in the future. I just want to do a Windows setup first to see how well we can get this going. All right, let's just uh, type in my name. No passwords because we're living life on the edge. And then just literally no to everything that this says. No, 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 basic. No, no, no. It might ask all of this, but Windows LTSC is probably one of the better versions for Windows with telemetry and all that stuff in mind. Almost there. Boom, here we are. So this is our desktop, pretty basic. You might notice the old Windows 10 wallpaper here. Like I said, it is built off an old version of Windows 10. But if we look at the start menu here, oh, look at that. Literally, we've got nothing <laughs> so we've got windows accessories so we've got the old internet explorer notepads windows media player all that kind of stuff we've got admin tools if you want to mess around with any of them ease of access powershell windows system so stuff like file file explorer control panel that kind of stuff i might actually just pin that to uh my taskbar here but yeah it's like the cleanest installation of windows you can get I highly recommend checking this out. I'm probably going to go ahead and connect to the internet now so I can get some drivers installed. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's have a quick look at our task manager here. Boom, like 2% CPU. Disk isn't failing anymore. I reckon with a couple of optimizations, this could be a pretty good computer. All right, guys. So uh, I've installed the drivers for this installation of Windows now. So we've got everything all kind of set up. 
I've installed Minecraft, I've installed Luna Client, and we're gonna kind of see what FPS we get with this client. So before we do that, let's uh, hop into our settings here. We go to privacy, and then we scroll down until we find background apps. I'm gonna turn all of these off. We've got literally two, but yeah, just turn this off and it will make such a big difference. We're then gonna to go to control panel, system and security, power options, and we're gonna set our performance to high performance here, or ooh, ultimate performance, let's go for that. All right, now that Luna Client has opened up, we're gonna go ahead and go to our task manager here. We're gonna find our Luna Client. So I'm guessing it's probably this. So you wanna go right click on it, click on go to details. And then if we go here, we can go to set priority and let's make it high high priority there we go so yeah this is a fresh installation of minecraft so i'm just going to go ahead and make a new world here and uh yeah we're going to have to adjust our settings like we're not going to be able to play on fancy graphics or anything like that but let's kind of see how much fps we get now compared to last video so we're on a good 30 actually which is actually really good so if we go ahead and uh, put some settings down here let's turn off the clouds Clouds are just useless. No one wants clouds. Turn off fog as well. Let's turn off smooth lighting. We'll keep this all kind of here. All right, what kind of FPS are we on now then? Wow, we're actually on a pretty playable 60 FPS, which is actually quite good. Wow. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. All right, let's try and go into full screen here. See if that gives us a bit better FPS. Oh, it does actually. Look at this. We're getting like 100. Wow. If you think about my last video when I was uh, struggling to even get 30. Wow. This is actually quite playable, I must admit. All right. So in the Hypixel lobby, we're getting about... It's still kind of quite low, but it's not as bad as it was. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's try and play some duels. It looks like there's a massive hole in the map. I don't know what's happened here. It's actually really strange. Oh, okay. Boom! We just finally won a duel on this computer. Okay, that guy might not have been the best player, but... Oh my god. Like, we're actually getting playable frame rate. I can actually PvP. So another thing I've done is I've gone ahead and I've disabled gaming in the Windows settings. A lot of people say this kind of improves your FPS, but literally if it's always going to be recording your game, it's going to take up a lot of resources. So I've disabled that on this system. I've also gone ahead and as you can see my specs here, we've still got the second gen i3, 8 gig of RAM and all of that. If we go to advanced system settings here and then we go to performance, we can actually adjust for best performance right here. So if we go ahead and apply that, there we go. So now things like animations and stuff will kind of be disabled. So when I drag this window around, it used to have a nice animation, but now it's just a box. It's a little bit ugly, but we're just doing everything we can here to try and get the best FPS possible. We can also go into our Intel HD graphics options. I'm going to put this on advanced mode. And if we go to the settings here, drag this all the way to performance instead of quality. So other than that, the settings in this software look pretty good. I'm also going to go ahead and download a texture pack because I really don't like the default pack. So let's just go to my website here, pvprp.com, which you definitely go check out if you want a pack. This Viper pack here looks pretty cool. So we're just going to go ahead and download that. Some packs can be really good for your FPS and this one looks like quite a good one. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's just put that on. And uh, yeah, no more default Minecraft pack. I'm just going to disable some of the mods we've got on this client. Because we don't need all of them on at the same time. So yeah, disable menu blur. That's definitely going to help out quite a lot. So let's play some Hypixel here. We do get quite a bit of lag in the lobby, which is a little bit annoying. But you can just go into the compass and just select what you want to play. Jeez, look at this. We're getting 150 FPS. That's really good. All right, we're against Zuku guy here. He's undefeated apparently. Can we defeat him on the gaming PC? 
Yes, we can. GG. Oh my god, this is amazing. Considering last video, I could barely win a duel to actually been able to play on this computer. I am playing with a wireless keyboard and mouse here, so I'm not playing with my gaming peripherals. But yeah, you know, I'm beating people. This is actually really playable. Yeah, I'd highly recommend checking out Lunar Client and doing all the stuff that I've done in this video if you want to have a good Minecraft PvP experience. Oh, look at this. Before I can barely even shoot a bow, like... Let's try and get this guy. Oh, we won the rematch as well. GG. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you guys want to see more in-depth guides on how to boost your FPS on lower end systems, I can definitely do them. I've got a lot more things that I could try on this computer. I just thought I'd do the basic settings here, like putting an SSD in, which a lot of people wanted me to do installing my favorite version of windows and tweaking a couple of settings and look you know we're getting pretty good playable fps if this video helped you guys make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time peace